Hey, this is Matt from Investaquant. Today is Thursday, October 13, 2022. Today is the day of the CPI report. That'll be out here at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. I am recording this ahead of the release. And this morning, we'll be looking at what has happened historically on the day of the CPI report. It's become more important this year, it seems, and we will see what's happened here. So let me go ahead and get this all set up. We've got all four instruments selected. The setup's based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, currently, we are trading higher. Who knows where we're going to be, though, after that report. We've been getting volatility on it, um, huge volatility on it recently. I think last time we dropped something like 100 points in a matter of a, a couple minutes um, on the release. But we will just use two things for this study. We're going to use an indicator, um, one indicator, and we're going to use the 200-day simple moving average. So I'm going to go below a 200-day simple moving average here, and then I'm going to go to market events, and I'm going to select the CPI report that's available here in the act of today section. So I've got both of those selected. I skipped the opening filter, have no idea where we're going to open. So we'll leave that out and just look at it as um, regardless of the opening direction. Now let me click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when it is the day of the CPI report and the prior session closed below a 200-day simple moving average. Historically, we have 42 samples in the S&P. We've got 38 in the NASDAQ, 39 in the Dow, 59 in the Russell. Win rates on these are pretty neutral. So S&P coming in, 50% of these have closed above the opening print. The NASDAQ, 53% have closed above the opening print. For the Dow, it's 59%. For the Russell, it is 53%. If we look at the average moves, the average losses are larger here. You see that on all four instruments uh, where the average loss is quite a bit larger than the average win. And you can really see it on the uh, equity curves here. They're going uh, sideways. And then in recent, uh, recent years here, it is really taking off to the downside. So it's been a very volatile day um, in recent uh, recent memory here. And if you look down below, you can see, yeah, just like the past six months or so last year, you can see just how bad it's been on those days. You can see the year to date total right here. Um, so for the S&P, it would be down about seven grand per contract, just trading this one day. Let me go to NASDAQ here. NASDAQ's down $15,000 year to date, trading this on the long side, entering at the open and exiting at the close for one contract. Uh, the Dow, you can see that one right here. About 4200 bucks, and uh, the Russell year-to-date down about 2500 so not as bad. But it's been a weekday here, uh, year-to-date so far. So anyway, hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We will see you next time.